Suicide Squad director David Ayer has shared Joker-centric behind-the-scenes photographs from the film on social media a few times in recent months. Ayer has lauded Jared Leto's portrayal of the Joker, who was given a considerably larger part in the initial version of Suicide Squad. The connection between the Joker and Harley Quinn was reportedly a major part of the film at one point, with Leto claiming that there was enough chopped material to make a full film out of it. So it's no surprise that Leto is interested in seeing Ayer's initial concept. When asked about the possibility of HBO Max releasing David Ayer's director's version of the picture, Leto was adamant. He'd love to see Ayer get a Zack Snyder-style makeover. He said absolutely, why not? Why wouldn't they? I mean, that's what streaming's for right? with Leto on Twitter and said exactly what streaming is for. If you own IP and you have a mandate to monetize it from your shareholders that's exactly what you do. Unlike the Snyder Cut, which required a considerable expenditure to complete due to Snyder's departure during filming, Ayer's cut is a different tale. According to reports, all of the photography had been done and just minor visual effects work remained. Ayer's cut of the picture was allegedly shown to Warner Brothers officials in its finished form before they requested additional editing, kicking off a process that culminated in the final theatrical version of the film. David Ayer also wrote an open letter in which he said I put my life into Suicide Squad, I made something amazing. My cut is intricate and emotional journey with some bad people who are shit on and discarded, a theme that resonates in my soul. The studio cut is not my movie, read that again, and my cut is not the 10-week director's cut, it's a fully mature edit by Lee Smith standing on the incredible work by John Gilroy. It's all Stephen Price's brilliant score, with not a single radio song in the whole thing. It has traditional character arcs, amazing performances, a solid third act resolution. A handful of people have seen it. Margot Robbie who plays Harley Quinn in both Ayers and Guns films who expressed herself by saying that I think that's all a very complicated situation that I am probably not responsible for. I would want to see the cut of every movie I've been a part of that I've never seen. The funny thing is that when you're an actor, not when you're a producer, as an actor sometimes I don't see it until half the country has seen it. You don't really get to see the different iterations along the way, unless you're a producer. John Cena who plays Peacemaker in Gunn's film also added that it's in a company's best interest to listen to their audience, and if it's something that's so in demand and they got it, why not? Do you think they should release the Ayers cut too? Let me know in the comments. See you soon.